2017, Indian Motorcycle fielded a team of hooligan race bikes built by Crazy Horse. Much to our own surprise, we came away with the Hooligan Championship with a bike ridden by the legendary Farron Mass. For 2018, we're sponsoring the entire DTRA Flat Track National Series. Back in February this year, we launched our sponsorship of the DTRA Flat Track Nationals at the MCN Motorcycle Show in London. We topped that off with a great DTRA party at the bike shed where everyone got their first look at the bikes and everyone got to meet the team. So after the party at MCN London and Bike Shed, now we're here at the Pete Boast Champions Flat Track School to get serious. This school is the first opportunity for our riders to swing a leg over the machines that they're going to be riding in anger in the Hooligan Series this year. I'm Leah Toklov and I'm 20 years old and this year I'll be racing one of the Indian Scouts in the DTRA Hooligan Championship. My name's Jonathan Forkman, I'm from uh, Sweden. I got into riding motorcycles when I was four years old, so started doing motocross. When I turned 18 I was back into street bikes and got into the, the custom build scene and the shoppers, that kind of thing. But I always had the love for the dirt and wanted back on it. My name's Chris Hatton. Uh, from South Wales. Been riding motorbikes since I was four years old. Went into motocross, then saw flat track. One of my friends got involved in flat track and it looked really appealing. Just pretty relaxed and, and it's a race as well, so you can't really fault getting on the start line and when the flag drops and everything, it's just no, no, no other feeling than that. So I'm Lee Kirkpatrick. I work at Crazy Horse in Bracen Edmonds. Been riding motocross for about 10 years now. Just going to flat track last year, racing the Indian Scout. I think I've got a bit of an advantage towards the other riders because I like to say I rode last season and I get to work on the bikes as well. I've been riding motorcycles since about five years old. I started on a PW50 and then I progressed on to just racing and riding around in like the farmyard where we grew up. Went uh, to my first ever flat track meeting on a 125 a KTM and then eventually I got a four stroke 250 which was a lot better suited and I've worked my way up from being a junior there to then a 350 and now race 450 pros. For this year I got a big opportunity to ride a engine scout in the hooligan class and it's a, a wicked bike, fast machine and I'm looking forward to riding that thing, getting to know every bit, piece of that bike and just rail it to the rev limiter each, out of each corner. I raced last year in the, in the DTRA and did okay, not too bad and then over winter Anthony approached me about riding a scholarship Indian motorcycle and yeah I jumped to the chance you can't really turn that down ride one of the yeah ride an Indian scout in the championship it's gonna be a good year I was I was overwhelmed when Anthony told me that I'd won the scholarship and that you know I could race on these bikes for the rest of the year the whole season you know, it's a big privilege to me and I just can't wait for it and you know, it'll be a challenge obviously but you know if if it was so easy then everyone would be doing it wouldn't they I came to the flat track school this morning to um, just run through some basic bike skills really. Not basic, but like just things you don't really get to practice at the racetrack because you just focus on racing and it's been a really good day on the mini bikes and then getting to ride the Indian later, it's going to be, uh, going to be really fun and can't wait to ride them. We've all had a great day here at the Pete Boast School and we've all learned something, even me. The next time you'll be seeing us will be on the 7th and 8th of April at Kings Lynn for the first round of the Hooligan Series. It's going to be a fun year. I'm the best one. It's obvious, everyone's embarrassed. And my hat's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>